And we're back. Always fun to have Heather Betts with us from the Alexandria Zoo. And she brought a little friend with her this morning as we chat about Les Fest. It's coming up soon. Yes. Heather, welcome back. Good to have you. Thank ah! you for having us both, especially our little scaly friend here. And he's yeah. actually the perfect ambassador for Les Fest as we're talking sure about wetland is. conservation. Uh -huh. um, so it is coming up September 22nd from 630 to 9. Tickets are on um, excuse me, on sale right. online. You can go to thealexandriazoo.com and it'll be a great night and learn about wildlife, wetland conservation, and listen to some great bluegrass music. What do we need to know about wetland conservation? Today? Wetland conservation, there's a few animals. There will be an animal presentation, but mm -hmm. one of the big things we're talking about is the whooping crane. Yeah. Um, one of the world's most endangered species, mm -hmm. bird species, excuse me. Um, and we're actually very fortunate this year we had two successful Hatches, hatches of whooping crane down in Jefferson Parish. Yeah. Um, so we're very fortunate with that. We're yep. keeping track. They're amazing birds and they almost went extinct, but now we're doing reintroduction programs with them. And more and more are coming. It, it's it's a, a species that's coming back. Yes, yes, we hope so. Um, the ones that are being reintroduced, we consider them non essential um, experimental reintroductions. So we're working really hard to get them. This thriving. little guy's behaving for us. <laughs> he Mark, is. I'm scared. He's enjoying the warm lights that are yeah. <laughs> sitting on him. But we have Tab Benoit coming to provide some great blues music. Yeah, yes. he's good. And we have a silent auction. So definitely Sounds come like and enjoy. Sounds like a big event plan. You've, working, mm -hmm. you've been working really hard putting this together. The, the staff you? has definitely worked very hard in the FOTAS board. And uh, we have food vendors coming out. So it's going to be a fun evening. There's video from Les Fest it from always last is year. A nice, it is a nice event. It is. I enjoy working. I know we're having mm -hmm. an animal present stage presentation. So that's something else to enjoy as well. Do you have to register for tickets beforehand? Yes. That's register online, mm -hmm. thealexandriazoo.com. If you go to events and Les Fest, it will give you all the directions to sign up from there. Right, right. Tell us about this little friend you brought with us. Yeah, so this is Remy. This He's a little over two years old. Uh -huh. He is our program gator at the Alexander Zoo. So we take him out to teach kids about wetlands, reptiles, alligators, since it is our state reptile. Mm -hmm. And oh, he, so he's sort of tame, he, now right? Now he's warming up. Yeah. He, he is definitely not, not tame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, okay. <laughs> he's warming up here. Yeah, but, he's um, warming up to us here. He's great. He can, he's not going to jump on you. Don't he's actually him. one that we've trained. So he is recalled um, mm -hmm. when we do train sessions with his diet. He'll come to when his name is called from the keeper. Oh. He backs up, which is important for large gators and yeah. it's all to help with husbandry and management of him. Mm -hmm. But he is really important to have and the kids, they always enjoy learning Can about imagine. the gator. Oh, sure. Yeah. He's will he grow? Is this, how big will he be? If, if it is a boy, which we're not sure yet, yep. we, um, they can reach over over 15 feet. The yeah. females are going to be smaller, um, but they will grow about a foot a year mm -hmm. until they're around six feet it's long and that's when they usually hit we're maturity. seeing a lot in the paper or in the news about alligators. Yes, uh, uh, sadly with the rising waters, right, it's, down they're it's going down with south. it. Um, yeah. Yeah. They are an indicator species with that, but yeah, they're going to go where the water and when there's a food right. source. So it, we do already have human gator uh, interactions and encounters. Mm -hmm. We just have to be very careful that it may not be a floating log that's going past yeah, it. It could be right. an alligator. It and to be, be respectful alligator. of them as well. well. You bring out a good point. So what do we do in the event when we do come in contact with an alligator? How do we handle that? What is What should we do? What's our defense? Well, run? <laughs> they can actually outrun us in a short distance. They can okay. run up to 11 miles per hour. I would say don't even approach. I know our curiosity gets the better of us sometimes. Be very aware of your surroundings. Yeah. These guys have great camouflage, but definitely look for features of them in the water and just be safe when you're swimming Heather, as well. we're about to run out of time. Tell us about this Pokemon yes. event at the zoo real quick. Very Touch excited. We have a lot of Pokemon trainers coming to the uh -huh. zoo and catching virtual creatures. <laughs> so the Alexandria Zoo is hosting a Pokemon uh, event, Alex Zoo Go event, uh -huh. and we're going to actually have contests. So come dress up and walk across the stage to possibly win a prize. If you're the gym leader, I know for those who don't play Pokemon Go, this is like, what is this? Yeah, but if you're the gym sounds leader, like a great time. Yeah. it is. It's mm -hmm. going to be really fun. Monday, September 5th, yeah. Labor gotcha. Day from 5 30 to 8. Thanks, Heather. Thank you all very Thank much. Thank you for, for joining us and bringing the cat. Yeah, he was you great. Bet. Thank you. Thank we'll you. wrap it up when we return.